Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take off the mask. Actually, because it's in my pockets, can I just? Okay, so you can't, despite it being on pocket, you can't just remove it. Hmm. Alright, well. well. I'll take it off for now. I like the, I like the set though. This looks nice. I, I decided to sell all of these non-unique swords and I sold all of the armor. Because it's just easier. Like, sure, sure I can go and buy armor racks and all that. But, you know, I'll worry about that later. If I really want to buy armor racks and then display armor on them, I'll just go out and get armor. Honestly. October, that is all I ask. Drinking. The most fun you can have with your clothes on. Just dancing in a random... Alright. Boot bugs don't usually work nights. Need to come back during the day. This is the day. This is the day. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks with dirt in their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? Are we doing this? A witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Witch Do people not know what a witcher is? Not your lucky day. Thank you, Thank you for the ride. Why up? Why are people always so happy? Oh yeah, I can counter. What happened there? What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast, on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? No, 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 hang on. Hang on. I'm re- I'm reloading the save. Listen. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out, though. Uh -huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lord, that's another matter. You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. I'm reloading the save though, because I'm not ref I'm not accepting this. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. No, listen. 
I'm reloading the save because I'm not having that defeat. The load times in this game is ridiculous. Some I'll be real. A Witcher. An I thought need to equal. Not get the effect of this game being large for large sake. Why is the parry not working? That's weird. Huh. That action's not allowed during combat. Parrying's not allowed during combat. What? It needs to be, because how... is not allowed in combat. What? What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out though. Uh huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lord, that's another matter. You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Come on. Again, though, Perrin's not allowed in combat. What's up with that? Also, I want to point out, you are very clearly not voiced by a child. <laughs> very clearly, you are not voiced by a child. Yeah? How do you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard. And as you're the stronger, come morning you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. <sighs> I'm wearing metal, mate. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamp. A seat, sir, please. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock, not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. Uh-huh. Yeah, how about fuck you? No way. Not about to contribute to your shady venture. You'll tell me what you know for free. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. As you wish, sir. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. 
Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis, the air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I have the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I am prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red, but I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might have him on the lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. Trying to get me to pay 500 crowns. Nah, mate. And about that life? Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to digging with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning the right thing to bribe them with. <laughs> Same thing, really. You know how kids are. How do you even know where we're going? He just said a red door. An awful lot of ravens. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum, and holler, Deck laugh, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Smoke. <laughs> your bag just sort of phased through you. I was about to say, you're gonna be smoke, Matt. That would look bugged. That looked bugged. Instead of becoming a burglar, a skill like that would come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Fair. <laughs> Fair enough. That guy saw nothing. That man saw nothing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's not creepy at all. This isn't creepy at all. This is fine. Let's look around. This place is not creepy in the slightest. This place is not creepy in the slightest. You, you're right there, mate. Eviction notice. Choose a non-payment of rent. The premises is for shopkeeping purposes. The administrative court of better claw orders the tenant Alec de Samp. Uh, to vacate the premises within seven days. Not complying with this eviction notice shall cause a custodial sentence to be imposed on the debtor. The length of the sentence shall be determined by the debtor's court. Okay. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. I mean, probably. That's how toys normally work. This recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. <laughs> yeah, same. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Uh, 
for a long yeah yeah. Dear Mr. Shopkeeper, for a long, long time I have been asking my parents to buy me a toy. Mummy always cries and says that we haven't got the money. Daddy gets cross when I ask him uh, when he will earn some, and once he nearly hit me. My friends have beautiful toys. Laura has a teddy bear. Michelle has a, gold, has a doll with golden hair that you can brush with a real comb. I worry that I will never have a toy, which is why I'm writing to you, Mr. Shopkeeper. I wanted to write this letter to you long ago, but I didn't know how to write then. Now I, yeah, now I know. I, if you have pr a pretty toy that other children don't want, I will, I will look after it. It will be happy with me. Please don't laugh at me. I know I am little, but I also know that toys are not really alive. That, yeah, they only live in our imagination. But so what? I would love it very much, Isa. Oh, here, okay, here we go. Good. It's it. Cool. This was what I was looking for. In recent decades, many of us have come to believe that a much more effective way of attaining good quality human blood than hunting individuals is a their, is their systematic, controlled husbandry. Uh, apart from the obvious advantages such as being able to control what the flock eats and the ability to crossbreed specific individuals to obtain offspring with the best hemoglobin, that's slightly fucked up, but alright. Uh, another clear advantage to breeding human stocks is that Domesticated humans held in confinement as opposed to their natural habitat, i.e. villages and towns, become less aggressive and therefore less troublesome. Uh, when it comes to farming humans, uh, there, are obvious, there are various schools, uh, of which two seem to have gained the, the wide acceptance in recent times, namely battery cage and free range husbandry. This thesis describes in detail the advantages and disadvantages as well as the methods carrying out each type of breeding. As a introduction, it is worth mentioning the basic differences between both types. Battery cage human husbandry, described very accurately in the detail in the book Human Husbandry, is placing of several male and female individuals in a closed restricted space. Uh, with permanent access to air, food, and water, this form of this form of breeding differs from free range, which that the human, uh, which that the flock, is not permitted to leave the breeding area, and is held captive the entirety of their lives. Jesus. Free range, on the other hand, if I was leaving the flock in its natural habitat or creating a habitat that simulates it closely, i.e., creating villages, more of which can be found in the chapter "Human Villages Establishing Growth of a Herd." Okay, I have to find that book now, and then making the herd psychologically or physically dependent on its owner. The most effective method of making a human individual dependent is guaranteeing the safety and a permanent access to high quality feed. It is worth uh, adding that a human that trusts its owner that does not fear and does not defend itself when having its blood drunk, which uh, limits the production of, of noradrenaline and cut, cut it Cut steel, cut, cut steel, which have a negative impact on the taste of blood. Furthermore, it may happen, yeah, yeah furthermore, it may happen that a domestic free range human may feel a certain pleasure when his owner drinks his blood, most likely associated with sexual tension, which causes an intensification of the blood's flavour. Okay. Low key, real quick, I'm gonna just Google to see if that other book that's mentioned is in this game. Let's let's see here. Human, because there were some books I picked up in um our mate's lab. Human villages establishing and growing a herd. I'm really interested in this. In this series of books. No. Okay, it's just those two books. Cool. Cool. Alright. Well, that's the thing. Still, I don't know why, but, like, despite how, you know, messed up that is. It's a neat little read. Old, decrepit. Mm, somebody fixed this recently. Past, past your best years. Like, what? Do, what do you mean? Attic. Let's go. 
So this is his nest. Look and that's around. that's an attractive woman who looks a little bit like Yennefer. I'm gonna be real. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. We all do. I still really want to know about that. Recently, dead love unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really, now, Geralt, must you? Dead love, Vander Eretain. You do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renawed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Detlaf have any enemies? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Never meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him the time before he came around to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him. Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. What does that mean? Detlaf ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important, higher vampires have their ways, all kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. Even if Renoued did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that, and hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He cares True. for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. All right. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. I still don't know what that means. Woman's likeness, bit smudged. That Renawed? I don't know. As I said, I never met her. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Yennefer. 
or that wait that woman who was wearing the hood at the start in the uh, the inn or was that the Bruxa was it that may have been her that may have been the Bruxa I'm not sure look slips of paper name on each Count Crespi, Count Duac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de la Croix. Detlef's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral, pretty much found only in Nazaire, but I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Oh, this silk is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Oh god, that made me remember shit. That made me remember shit. So we got wine. Okay, god. Ah, oh, this is going to be awful. Blackmailer. And a curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Old to the game. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Detlaf's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlaf's innocence, clearly. Ah, uh, what you call it, innocence? Actually, it is. Detlaf's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. He's still killing people, though. This illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Ren of it. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? You gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll wait with you, maybe. No, he'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. All right. Five hundred, though. Oh, it's already up there. So I mean, it's it's far, but it's close. It's fine, but it's close. Oh. My magical horse friend. Let us be off. And then I'll go back to doing side quests. Maybe after this. Maybe. I don't know. I'll go back to doing side quests eventually. Because I want, I want to try to get in a good mix. I would love to gallop. I would love the ability to gallop. Oh. Uh. I 
Okay, good for you. I can't gallop here, really, on this bridge. This nice ass looking bridge, though. Let's be real, this is a lovely view. I'll give you that game. You're, you're big for big sake, and a lot of it's empty, but you're beautiful. I would love to gallop. I would love to gallop. Good. Good. You're telling me I could have just quick travelled up here, for fuck's sake. Alright, well. Now I know. Shut up, kid. Alright, Roach, you chill. Master Witcher, I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you returned with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! <laughs> Your Grace, I shall assemble a you. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Go ahead. Send them to their death. Certain death. To a lone Witcher, perhaps. To forty of my men-at-arms, but another skirmish. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What, then, do you intend to do? It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably... 
probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Hire vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally rich, capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human, and he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free, or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find a blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You are to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Sent for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop up! I don't know what that word means. In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Erveluz, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. Witcher, show him the paper scrap. This, this woman looks like someone I've met in real life. It's really bothersome. Mm. Mm, yes, yes. The, the West Bank of the Sara too. That, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair Oak. How? Ooh, deep burgundy. Clarity high. It's simple. Sara the 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revelle, especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard, see if there's not been an incident. Song real. Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the Ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonrial, it is Sonrial. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. Wait. Your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. She knows something. I suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. The Witcher, are you ready? I mean, fuck it, why not? Yeah, ready to go. Excellent.
Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. Ah, yeah, Princess gonna be a common girl. Well, Queen, actually. Gonna be a common girl. Still wearing high heels, though, because you gotta look snappy. You gotta look fashionable for your, your covert missions. This vampire, have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Why, why can I not catch up with him? Thank you, game. Are you guys alright there? Just chilling. Yeah. Sure. Panthers have attacked the wagon. We must help. Must we? We shall see to this. Thank you, beast. Be gone. Because panthers normally attack wine. Panthers are attracted to wine, I guess. This is knowledge I never knew. I mean, wine is like just berries and grapes and shit. Fermented. Do, do panthers enjoy vegetation? Ah, no, maybe. About this vineyard, it's the best in all two, son. That's not much information to go on. You call that escorting her illustrious highness? What were you thinking? Captain, this is not the time for such complaints. As for you, Witcher, next time keep close. You rode off without me! We did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? This is an inspection. We've got questions. You'll answer them. And who are you, sir, to speak to me this way? This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, your grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. I like this girl. 
I am at your service. I like I like this girl a lot. The Saint Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Saint Real. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally and let no one near the fat. Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? If our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace, how am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, but... Silence! And listen, I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. I really like this girl. In the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. I, I really like her. Here it is. She's so fun. Come, Witcher. She's fun. I like her. I don't like how I had three questions to ask and you only let me ask two. You can't do that to me. There's a notice board there. Oh boy, okay. He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabrizio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. I mean, fair, I guess. A bit extravagant for just some wine cellar. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Hmm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Hmm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. How can you tell the precise year of a vintage? Does one year change? Like, how? That's some next level shit. That's some next level shit this man has. The ability of the gods. Oh, that was quick. Oh, no, that was... Right year, but no. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. I have good taste in many things, madam. Test, test. Think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. I can't believe I've just come in here. I'm just stealing his wine. <laughs> this is his livelihood and I'm just stealing it. Because fuck you. Fiorano. Dandelion's favourite. Adores it. 
Ah, yes. That sophisticated palette of his. Did he, like, fuck you or your sister or something? What's the history with that? Got Pamino over here. No comment on, on Pamino? Alright. Clearly not... Clearly not up to the... The Queen's tastes or her standards. Wrong year. Twelve seventy vintage. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. Okay, 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 okay. Anna, thank you. No. I can't even bring out my torch in here. All right, cool. Not what I wanted. More darkness is in fact the opposite of what I wanted. Going to assume this is it. Maybe. Because that made my um, medallion vibrate. Oh no! Right here, twelve sixty-nine. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If we hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Okay, but then why did you? Why did this one make me vibrate? Wrong year again. Hmm. All right. Weird. Weird flex. Imagine it being the last one. Imagine that. This one's full too. They are all full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of some real? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. It's a good thing I loot shit. I guess because you know what some girl tastes like and I don't. Understandable, I guess. So? Those hints of spice. Mm, distinctive. This is some real. Doesn't, isn't this going to technically ruin because we're opening it? I don't, I don't know the um, intricacies of winemaking, but isn't this going to like ruin the fermentation or something? Or the ripening or whatever. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Are you gonna kick his ass? I need I need to go back to that notice board though, get some quests. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But your grace, I you are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I, I, I admit it. I, I, I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was 
enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. Who do you sell the wine to? A few weeks past at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He called himself a diplomat, well connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Soreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I have no Sintrian aristocrat at court. I think we know who that was. Really? There's no way to find out. I was a fool. Very foolish. I beg you, your grace, you must forgive me. Wine itself. How do you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astra. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say... A few days passed, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and, well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabrizio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. I should have said no so I could at least save, but oh well, we're here now. You're actually about to just try to kill me. Alright. How'd that work out? Oh, 
I don't know who's the murderer you're speaking of because a lot of people get murdered here. This is just a brawl where everyone's just swinging swords everywhere. Fucking battle of the bastards up in here. Seriously, battle of the bastards up in here. What do you mean? And blocking's not allowed in combat. What the fuck do you What is what is with this game? Just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True, you are not the most endearing of men. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth, and I appreciate it. About time someone does. She awaits nearby. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. <laughs> Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call it. Wait. If he doesn't wish to speak, he needn't. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? What? Usually only take measures like that as a last resort, but in this case, I think I can make an exception. Do as you deem fit. He is all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Greg, no! Don't let them! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! Brilliant. Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader. Only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there. There! That one! The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. 
But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Who hired you? He, he'll kill me. Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Cimetrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the man for his cape. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cimetrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go to town. This might be split into like two, two like hour long episodes because this is this is a long sequence of shit, which I ain't complaining about because it's good, it's good shit, but it's a long sequence of shit. It's late. Relax, you'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my godsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Sooner or later everyone slips up. Sintrian stole the Sun Real. That was his mistake. Yet if we had not happened on the wine stain... You're right. We got lucky. Even so, still can't be sure he's behind the kidnapping, the blackmail. Need to find the Sintrian whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Cintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Naturally. There's always a bounty on my... Yeah, not the first time. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. Don't know who that is. I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. The Mandragora? What's that? 
a club, an affiliation of local artists, painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique, consciously, I think, behaving like an exclusive cabal, artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Gotta nab the Centrion. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze... No, we need, we need finesse. If the Centrion truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We? We, your grace. <laughs> yeah. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. I do love how she's just like, yeah, listen, I'm getting in on this shit. And both guys just like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that was neat. Okay, Geralt. Okay, Geralt. That right there, that was class. That was class. I like that. All right.